Welcome back, my goblins and ghouls, and welcome back to yet another Rage Reacts. And if you don't know why I'm calling you my goblins and ghouls, it's because I'm recording this on Halloween. Which is going to be pretty pointless saying that, because this is probably going to be out a week after Halloween, knowing me and my schedule. So, yeah, still, I hope you all enjoy the spooks and the scares. So, yep, yeah, and all the candy, you know, oh, the sweets. I miss the sweets, and the reason I'm saying that is because at this point in time, I'm on a diet. So, I can't have any sweets. It's tragic, I know. But you know what? I do have something scary for you guys in this video. Yes, something terrifying, you know, that will make you shiver at, the, at your very core. And it's a video by Pepe Zilla, and it's on a creator called... Lapa Hapa? Did I say that right? Yep, it is Lapa Hapa. I had to confirm that. And it is a video called I Found the Weirdest Russian Influencer. So this is going to go well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness as usual. Oh, look at this. We got Rick crying for coral, as he usually does. And we have a uh, Billie Eilish lookalike on meth. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Right. Let's get into this. I'm ready. Right, let's go back and... Oh, okay. <laughs> There's more on the screen. Right, let's go. <laughs> Final boss of all crazy people on the Russian internet. Sleeps with homeless people, eats from trash cans, licks cars. Oh. She is pretty wild. Meet Lapa Hapa. Once beauty influencer, now an internet clown. Who is also kind of bad. God damn! And also very immoral person. Pepe? national tragedies. How did this all happen though? I was chilling, minding my own business, and then I get a message. Dude, you have to check this girl out. She's insane. And then there was a link to her Telegram. I clicked and I was greeted with this page. Lapa Hapa, 3,000 followers. Who is this Lapa mm. Hapa? Oh, wait, there That's is a, a post lot. from this morning. I noticed there is an absurd amount of comments. So I went in there and it was a chat room full of kids sending voice messages to each other. I didn't hesitate and I sent them a lovely voice message of my own. To klein up a pick the one to get and I even got a heart from Sonichka. Shout out to Sonichka. However, I still didn't understand what is all this hype about. So I decided to do some detective work. Find out who this girl is. And oh all my right. god. As soon as I started digging through her telegram, I soon realized that I got myself into another freak tuber swamp. This girl is insane. And despite she might seem hot on some posts, trust me, you can't fix her. Yeah, I'm looking at you, goose. Don't think you guys are safe from me. I read every single comment. And if I see at least one Coomer comment under this video. I'm calling in an airstrike. I'm not dealing with this. Do you know what the desperation in this world today is astounding? It's astounding. I mean, seriously, when it, when it comes to men, you know, trying to fix, you know, women like this because, you know, they're so desperate for women's touch, they'll go to the ends of the earth to pluck out, you know, women like this who won't benefit them in any way, shape or form. And the example I can give for the women is, do you know the guys who are good looking, but of course they live a life of crime and they get put into jail. And then you come across um, the photos of the men, of, of course the women do as well. And then the women just go that, oh, oh my God, he's so handsome. You know, I can fix him. I can take him from this life of crime, you know, and he can be all mine. It's, it's just, why would you do that? It's just desperation at this point in time. I'm seeing too much of it, you know? God, what's happened to dignity? It's been lost. That's what it's been. So to all of you leaving comments like that, have some more self-respect. That's what I would say. After 24 hours of digging, I was done. And here's my report on Lapa Hapa. Or should I say Katya? Wait, hmm? Dasha. Well, her name is actually unknown. But these two names could be seen in the comments and in her videos more than often. Besides that, we know that she's from St. Petersburg, very beautiful city, that she's 25 years old, and that she has Telegram channel and Instagram. But that's it, really. We don't really know much about her background. On the 10th of March this year, she puts out this post where she's promoting her sexy stuff. If you click on the link however you're greeted with a request to join these other two channels and then you will be let in it looks like a scam i can't quite put my finger on it but then again i wouldn't put, want to put my finger on whatever's in that channel so yeah forever be a mystery the deeper you go in a telegram the more cringe stuff you find <laughs> uh, i would be the same dude <laughs> 
I'd be like, what the fuck? Why the hell are you touching me? I'm trying to sleep here. What is wrong with you? Crazy ass woman. <laughs> Thinking you can try to put your fingers in my mouth. Nah, I don't know where those fingers have been. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got the Red Bull going. Her content revolves around controversy. That's all she does. She baits clicks, likes, views, just like me. But at least my feet don't look like feet after an expedition into Mordor. Oh! No, 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 no. No, and by the way, yes, people do like, you know, they do anything for the views these days. And of course, controversy, you know, it gets people watching. So, yep, yeah, but I don't blame some people for doing that. But yeah, look at those feet. You still think you can fix her, guys? You still think you can fix her, hmm? With those feet, you really want to suck on those toes? Ah, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think you're kidding yourself. That's what I think. But yeah, like... Well, ad advice for that? Um, clean your feet? <laughs> That's it. Oh, no! Uh, no! I don't know what's on them! No! Get away from me! What the fuck? Oh god. Dane, try explaining to your wife why you got some random panties in your hoodie. She comes up to random people and asks them whether they would sleep with her. And usually they are not into it. Oh! Bloody hell, that's forward. But some people are down bad. What is it? Oh my god, he's homeless. Does she fuck homeless men? Well, yeah, I kind of know that. <laughs> the reason is, is because on the thumbnail so that it says sleeps with homeless. So that was a bit of a dead giveaway. Seriously? Sleeping with homeless people? How low can you go? How low can you go? I mean, this is just vile, to be honest. Like, I can just tell from the, those clips there, she doesn't really give a shit. If she's going out doing that, you know, just going up to random strangers and just saying, do you want to, do you want to fuck me? Do you want to kiss me? Do you want to touch my tits? Do whatever you want. I mean, if she's doing that, then clearly no self-respect. And yeah, she just doesn't care what happens, which is uh, very concerning because she, she could one day come across the wrong person. You know, the person who could take advantage of that and things can go very bad. Of course, I'm not going to say it because uh, YouTube, you know, don't like words like that, but you know what I mean. But that's not all she does. She also sings. <laughs> well, it doesn't end there. Apart from just being annoying, she also does very questionable stuff overall. Okay. She also likes to lick cars. By the way, did she see her lip? Cleaning the car. Love, I think you were just adding more dirt to that car. Jesus, what's been on that tongue? I also don't want to know. But yeah, look at all this shit. We had a nice little montage, you know? She's quite the uh, quite the singer, you know? Has a has clearly a future ahead a bright future ahead of her. Just going up to random strangers, just doing random shit, trying to like just just get a reaction. I mean, to be honest, she is a walking red flag. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just, 
it's hard to say because yeah, like like I said, she's a walking red flag. But she could also have like issues as well. Um so but like I said, I don't know. Because I don't know this person personally, so but yeah, I can't really take them seriously though when they're licking a boot and a car. For some weird reason. I don't know. <laughs> but of course it could be just for the views. I mean, there's a reason why the camera's rolling when she's doing it, so Yeah. It's like, right, so where were we? Oh, yeah, her uh, pissing on the toilet. No, it wasn't that, was it? <laughs> nah, after she licked the person's car. I mean, I'm assuming it's maybe someone who knows her because they shouted Dasha. I don't know. <laughs> Dasha! Yeah, see? Yeah, By the way, did you see her lips? Buttocks, you say? Hell nah, it's homemade. <laughs> She also oh seems to God. have some obsession with Red Bulls, as I have seen her open up like hundreds of those. Lapa is another trash tuber from Telegram. Nothing we haven't seen before, however. She does everything that other trash bloggers already did and just replicates it. She flushes her head into the toilet. Hilmi did the same thing. She is harassing random people on the street. Yula Fina has been there, done that. Lapa eats random stuff. We do not talk about this person. Wait, what is this? She drinks piss. I found the craziest Russian influencer, Splitika. Of course, she does look crazy though. <laughs> hmm, so let's see, which one is worse? Drinking piss or fucking a homeless guy? Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with... Well, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Which one do you think is worse? Put it in the comments down below, yeah. Have a little competition. I mean, you just get more and more people like this these days. They just... I mean, is there ever gonna come to a point where there's going to be, like, nothing else for someone to do which surprises anyone anymore. Because people are just doing such outrageous shit that eventually it's going to come to a point where people just get bored of it and move on to something else. Because it's only, only so much, like, you can top, really, isn't it? So, yeah. But like I said, there's a reason why there's more than one person doing this type of type of shit is because it gets views. You know, people like watching good-hearted streamers who just wanna do their content and just enjoy life and, you know, interact with their viewers. And then there's people like this who just, you know, <laughs> just attract the people that just wanna laugh at them. Basically, basically, yeah, like a lol cow. So, but I don't think they like people like DSP or Wings of Redemption or anything like that because they just play video games <laughs> and just say stupid shit where she she goes above and beyond and of course that's going to interest people right I mean why wouldn't you watch something like that why wouldn't you watch someone just you know humiliating themselves in front of random strangers and just doing things like licking cars or Drinking their own piss or sleeping with the homeless. Why wouldn't you not want to watch that? I mean, it's it's great entertainment. <laughs> People these days, man. We do not talk about this person. I still have nightmares. She's like a Frankenstein monster made from all the Russian trash bloggers. But she does, in fact, do something new. She does homeless people. Like, literally. This lady has sexy time with bombs left and right. I guess street people are not gonna say no to that. But I guess nobody told Obviously. her that she probably had every disease imaginable to a humankind. Now I feel kind of bad for these people. Imagine you're just vibing outside and then... <laughs> There's also a video of staplering her friend's... But I can't show this really because it's too far. But yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Friend's nickname is Zanny Bunny. And that brings me to the next point. I don't think Lapa is clean. And now I'm not talking really? about dusty feet. I mean, like, she wouldn't pass a drug test. She constantly has these meltdowns in her videos and psycho attacks. Like, she's not having a good time. But she's kind of a bad person. And now I'm not talking about her playing this dumb bimbo role with that fake anime voice she puts on. Bimbo. 
if you didn't know there was a terrorist attack in russia some time ago it was very sad and devastating for the whole country you know what she does the same day she puts up ads on her telegram channel saying the real footage from shootout and links some not safe of work channels i don't think that's okay like that's just milking tragedy but it doesn't stop there she constantly posts ads on casinos illegal sides of dark stuff and some very bad things i can't even say oh now, yeah. when you think of it i don't really think that person who is addicted to drugs would be reasonable with money as she must be making a bag from these telegram channels i think she would just spend all the money on white powder or on clothes she actually has drip i have to admit however i genuinely think this girl is a project there is no way you blow up this much in spam of two months already have million views on your first posts i don't know if that's bad or actual people who were brought to her channel from other channels but then again you need a lot of money to pull up an ad campaign to get these numbers and she was kind of normal in these beauty videos she used to do a while ago and out of nowhere she shifts into this so therefore i think ah so that's that's something that's interesting then she used to just do like beauty vlogs and stuff did she and just completely does a, a 180. now the reason i think she done a 180 is could be possibly two reasons right either one maybe she has mental health issues and you know she was struggling with that so she, she just started not to care anymore and just start doing this sort of shit but obviously she enjoyed filming so she'll just keep filming and of course then she saw all this attention so she keeps on doing it now the second option is right that she got into the wrong crowd and that's the reason why she's doing what she's doing like you know but to be honest i find that unlikely so and of course there's a third option i'm gonna say the third option is what pepe zilla said and the most unlikeliest one reason being is because she's still doing the stuff that she's doing and she's going through with it is that she did the 180 on her own accord because she realized her videos weren't doing that well view wise so she realized what do people like to watch these days controversy yep just being flat out outrageous and just you know all for like shock value maybe it was that like i said who knows who knows it could be anything but yeah i'm just guessing really that's all so out of nowhere she shifts into this so therefore i think it's fake or is it so there is only one question i have is she okay i couldn't sleep without an answer so i decided to dm her on instagram and Ooh. let's hope i will receive an answer soon it's been four months since i recorded this video since then youtube blocked that video and i received a warning but of course all those other people who just copied my video are completely fine thanks youtube That's also strange. she answered to my instagram dm but i'll show oh, okay. it at the end of the video oh and now come on share some interesting pepe you can't tease us like that you can't do that come on dude come on <laughs> you're a very very sneaky frog aren't you comments i've received last time you are just jealous go back your cave and stop making these cringe videos <laughs> oh yeah i sure would love to suck some homeless for cloud that yeah. sounds like a good deal she is way more famous than you are and do you know where that lifestyle got her by the way ah uh, yes the old classic excuse for your favorite content creator when someone is shitting on them or criticizing them they're way more famous than you, so therefore, they're a better content creator than you. They're a better person than you. You know, they're just overall better than you in general. But of course, that's not true. We know we've come across YouTubers and streamers and all that shit that have turned out to be scumbags and they have millions of subscribers and followers. Numbers don't mean shit when it comes to, you know, the character of a person. No matter one number, you know, a person can have, they can still turn out to be a scumbag. So, there's that. That excuse does not work anymore. That excuse is on the, the same lines, right? As if someone makes a mistake and says, oh, it was the alcohol. Oh, the old classic, eh? Mm. <laughs> the bottom of the barrel excuse. Uh, I'll definitely believe that. Do you know where that lifestyle got her, by the way? Mm. She's literally rotting alive. And I wish I was joking. Have a look. Oh, God, that's a lot. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Oh, healthy breakfast. Oh. <laughs> no. 
after everyone made a video. I thought I escaped from the hawk to a woman. Damn it. Oh, you had to bring it back, didn't you, Pepe Zilli? You had to torture me with, with that spit. Ugh. About her, she got her followers, money, fame, if you can say it like that, and she ran to Thailand, which, in my humble opinion, was the smartest decision of her entire life. It seemed like for some time that she just wanted to chill out and start over. And then... But, you know, if that was the case, I wouldn't be here recording this video. <laughs> well, what did she expect? She quickly found new homeless friends in Thailand, and here is our good old Lapa Hapa. And while Russia is kind of regulated when it comes to funny substances, Thailand is not as much. So with all the money she made, she had way easier access to all the crystals and everything. You know what I mean. Combine that with her lifestyle, and there she is. <laughs> literally rotting like What's what is that? this do you remember those drink bleach jokes well guess what oh, this dear. lady is literally destroying her body just to stay relevant and her content now is i'm not joking a syphilis review all right i'm genuinely sorry to everyone who was having a nice meal until this point uh, let's do a capybara break i mean am i surprised by that no not at all and oh god thanks the phone you will always pop up when i don't want you to yeah, bitch. But did he say she was drinking bleach? Yep, that would make you die from the inside. Over time. So there's a moral of that. Don't drink bleach, everyone. Because it... Unless you want to die on the inside. Which I don't think you want, obviously. So, yep. Don't... Don't drink that. Ah. So adorable. Ah. Carmen. Peaceful. Great, now I feel not as traumatized. I yes. find it so hilarious that one clip is her reviewing her sickness and crying she's gonna unlive herself, and next one is literally her kissing some homeless. I guess at this point it's just a hobby. Give me blue, give me blue, give me blue. <laughs> what? Back to back! What is 60,000? Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Am I left hand right hand left? Imagine if it just pops up with that on CSGO. Like you just you just get that and you're like all hyped and then it just says Congratulations, you have the syphilis camo. <laughs> and you're like, just sat there, like, just contemplating life. Like, you spent all this time just trying to land on that. And he's probably never been so proud. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know what to think anymore, dude. What is going on? One in 16,000. Guys, we finished the hobby with all the bonus levels at this point. So yeah, that's Lapa Hapa, everyone. Great content creator. <laughs> and if you're wondering, here is what she answered. Wait, I want to see. Ah, конечно, дорогой, приезжай за... Sure, honey, come to Petersburg. We're going to have some fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shooting her shot overseas from... Yet again, you are a random person to her, and she's still shooting her shot. Fair play, I guess. <laughs> mm, that's right, honey. Come over here. Oh, yes, you want a piece of this syphilis and all this other stuff? Yeah, that's right, Pepezilla. <laughs> Coming over to Petersburg, I, I will be awaiting your arrival. Leg spread. No questions asked. <laughs> but yeah, do you know what, though? That is the response I somewhat just expect her to, to make so yeah hey man i don't know am i no no oh bloody hell pepe no come back you don't know what you're getting yourself into now what do i think about this content creator you know what's my brief summary of this well i would say in my opinion this is my opinion you know it's not Proven to be fact, just so you guys know, all right? So I just think she was a regular person before, and I feel that her mental health uh, struggles caught up with her. Uh, and then she has gone off the rails, and now she's doing all this shit, but she knows she can, you know, record it and put it online to get all the Simpson money, and you know, all that attention just comes her way. So she's gonna continue doing that. 
because it's probably doing well for her. But, you know, judging from what I saw from parts of the video, like the 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 outbursts, you know, the psych psycho attacks, as Pepe Zilla called them, uh, there is some indications that, that could be the case. So, like I said, I'm all for seeing someone turn their life around. So hopefully that can be the case. But in the position that she's in, it's going to be a very... You know, tough hill to climb, it seems. Because, of course, when drugs are involved, obviously very addictive. It can ruin, ruin your life, man. It can ruin your life. And to top it off, the things that she does, you know, sleeping with homeless, drinking bleach, having a lot of Red Bull, just, you know, just stuffing cigarettes in her mouth, you know, part of a healthy breakfast. Yep. Sadly, things like that will catch up to her in the end. So, unless she changes her life around. But who knows at this point. Uh, so guys, let me know your thoughts on this down below if you want. Uh, a really good video by Pepe Zilla. And the, the original video will be down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see all of you in the next video. And I'm out. And I'm peace. Yeah.